This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. So we're going to talk about a interesting presentation of acute coronary syndrome, which is a little unusual, but we all need to know about. So just a quick case presentation, a 50-ish year old woman, no known medical problems, came in with chest pain that had been going on for the last three days, associated with nausea and vomiting, some radiation to her back. Actually a pretty good story for acute coronary syndrome. Um, The EKG did not show any obvious ischemia. Labs were drawn, chest x-ray was done. High sensitivity troponin came back at 13,000. So at that point, cardiology was consulted and she was taken to the cath lab and she was diagnosed with something called spontaneous coronary artery dissection or SCAD. Uh, So SCAD is something we all need to know about, especially when we're talking about young women. It's the number one cause of heart attacks in women less than 50. It still is not, the, you know, not that frequent because the acute coronary syndrome doesn't happen in youngish women that often. But if we see a young woman with a good story, an EKG that's concerning and an elevated troponin, this needs to go really high on our differential diagnosis for a possible diagnosis. These patients go to the cath lab and the findings are this classic dissection of one of the coronary arteries. It's not traumatic. It happens uh, quite frequently to patients who are pregnant, young mothers, uh, people with fibromuscular dysplasia. Other risk factors would include people who have had extreme exercise or if there's been significant emotional distress. So all those things are risk factors for uh, SCAD. They go to the cath lab. There is usually not a stent placed as we would see in a plaque type rupture that causes a acute coronary syndrome. They then um, are taken out of the cath lab and usually managed uh, with medical management, usually dual antiplatelet therapy. So aspirin plus Plavix or some other antiplatelet med. And then they also are usually given beta blockers to decrease the stress, the shear stress on that dissection. Uh, So again, it's not a typical plaque rupture, but it does cause the same essential pathology because you end up with this intimal tear, platelets gather, it causes a disruption and a blockage of that coronary artery and patients will have the same type of presentation. May not have a a typical EKG appearance of a STEMI. Very typically we we see uh, EKG changes. And then the other thing we just need to always keep in mind is those young women who, uh, you know, if they've they've recently been pregnant, if uh, they are pregnant, or if they uh, are on hormone therapy, but um, especially, uh, you know, age 30 to 50, young woman, chest pain, good story, think SCAD. The Emergency Medical Minute would like to thank our sponsor, Swedish Medical Center, for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible. Donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, And if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.